Hi and welcome to the Night Vision Show. In this week's episode, Danny is out in a foxing hat-trick with the latest Pulsar thermal gear. But first, Tim is out controlling rats on the farm with the new Hick Micro Thunder 2.0 TH35. Tim from Scott Country International. Tonight we're out ratting with my air rifle. I'll be spotting with the Merger LRF XL50. And tonight we're out with the new Hick Micro Thunder 2.0. This is a, a TH35 model, so it's a 384 by 288 sensor, sub 20 millikelvin net D, so it should be perfect for the rats. Now I zeroed this up in the gardens this afternoon, about 20 yards, that's, a, that's about my right zero for around here. So we're going to get out, I can hear a few squeaking, I've seen a few running over there. So we're going to get out and get a few rats, get some footage. I'll be using the Recon CT1 tripod tonight. So that'll be on there, so nice stable platform to shoot off of. So uh, let's get cracking with it. This is the TH35 model. Now this is a 384 by 288 sensor resolution with sub 20 millikelvin net D. Uh, so it's not a nice clear little scope gonna be perfect for the ratting so I've got this mounted on top of the air rifle so I arrived at the yard I had a quick scan around with the merger LRF XL 50 just to see where the uh, activity was starting and then uh, I got myself set on the bales now the reason I'm culling these rats is because they're urinating and defecating all over the cattle uh, feed and they're totally degrading um, the integrity of the buildings everything like that so this is why we're controlling the rats on this uh, permission now they're getting everywhere they're getting inside the machinery they're getting they're getting under all the rubbish they're doing what rats do Now, as you can see from this bit, this is the back of the barn in the in this shot. The rats are going along this little slip trench here, this little slurry trench, and that's the grain shed in there. So all all the rats are digging underneath the integrity of the building and all the grain starting to spill out. So that's why there's so much activity up and down this um, track. So they don't need to go in the building. They can just work all the way along there. Now the farmer's pulled out all the matting and they're just starting to nest. You can just see them all mooching around in the grass there. Down the side, but down this slip trench here is just like a rat highway. So obviously they're just now feeding on all the grain that's spilling down. And uh, I just think I can go about the business. But the nice the nice little beauty, the, the Thunder, nice little 384 sensor on that one at sub 20, net D. As you can see, they're just going about doing their thing and it's nice and clear. So... Perfect for the air rifle, perfect for the rim fire. It's a nice little tool. Nice and light. The battery life was great. Uh, I was out on my second night and it had only just gone down one bar. Again, on the other side of this wall, there's another grain shed and the rats are digging through, chewing through the stonework, degrading all the uh, integrity of the buildings. And obviously that's a water source as well for animals. So the farmer just keeps gets me to keep on top of it all. Now, the good thing around here as well is, whilst I was out, I saw two hedgehogs. Now, you don't see many hedgehogs around this, this part of the country because we're absolutely teeming with badgers and the badgers decimate the hedgehogs. So, I, did, I saw the two hedgehogs had come out from underneath the rubbish and they was going about their business around near the slurry trench. So, I thought I'd give them a little film. And I filmed them through the mergers and filmed them through the, um, the thunder. So a perfect little tool to differentiate between rats or hedgehog. So as you can see, all the rats there look just totally going about their business. They're dug into all the mounds. They're under all the fresh silage bales there. They are absolutely everywhere. They're in the machinery. They're just they're just everywhere. So like I said, took 41, 41 rats from that the other night. I went back last night as well. I took another 21 so, real, real starting to hit the numbers. So, not bad at all. 
So there we go, really useful use of uh, a thermal on an air rifle, controlling rats around the farmyard using the Hick Micro Thunder TH35P. Now coming up in a second, Danny's out foxing for a foxing hat trick. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Gemini. Hi, Danny here from Scott Country International. So, um, out tonight on some stubble uh, with my eldest son. Um, I've been out for a while with him, and uh, it was great having a partner driving around, um, especially because the weather was a bit hit and miss. So, there wasn't a lot of walking, it was mainly driving uh, and getting around to the stubble fields. So, we initially went out, um, and uh, what was really good tonight is uh, we got a first hat trick for, for this year uh, on one of the fields. So, we got out, we had the um, Merger XP50 LRFs uh, and on the 243 on the Beast um, I had the Thermion 2 XP50 Pro LRF. Um, Tom was using the Mergers, um, I was driving, he was spotting. We then, on the on the stubble fields, I would then get out and just, just do the dispatch. So uh, first we went, drove around, had a, had a recce of the area of the new fields that had been cut. Um, went and got some food, sat there, sat tight for a while and watched. Uh, nothing and then all of a sudden um, Tom had a little scan and there was a vixen um, coming down the hedgerow so I got out the truck my side and uh, he didn't get the record on the merger but I managed to get the footage uh, on the on the Thermion yeah she comes in quite quite close I get about 70 meters um, I've zoomed in times four um, for the shot um, and uh, or maybe eight I can't remember if it was four or eight because um, it got a bit of excitement afterwards. So literally, uh, clean dispatch, great, off we went. So then we went to the next field, and it was kind of, do we go left or do we right? And and, we, and I wasn't going to go left, uh, but I thought, no, 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 we'll do it, because then it's done. So we pulled to the side of the, uh, into the field and looked into the field, and uh, my son said, oh, there's three Charlies. At which point I thought, yeah, well, maybe. It's, it's his first time for a long time. Possibly not, but... We never know. Um, so I got out and went round, and I and I did one straight away, and uh, that was walking um, from right to left, and I could see a second one, and um, that was on the right, and that was static, uh, and then there was two hairs. So I thought he's got confused. Um, two definitely, there's a hair there. So um, I went through. Um, he's recorded on the merger, so you will actually see this comparative footage. Um, so I got dispatched the first one, uh, which I thought was the far left one, um, just before cutting some long grass. Then came back for the one that was on the right, um, that was still static, um, and dispatched that. Uh, and then went back onto the third, and he said, it's there, it's there. So I kind of got back on it, got all excited. I thought, no, he's wrong, he's wrong, he's wrong. So anyway, I lifted my gun and looked back, and he said, it's there, and he was pointing. But he's pointing a completely different direction. So I, I've spun round to the left, which is why it's a very short clip with the X, with the Thermion, because literally I've spun, I've seen it, it's broadsided for me, um, and obviously I've just fired two shots um, in the last within the last 40 seconds, um, and so literally um, it was a quick dispatch uh, and, and quick kill. Um, so that was really good. Uh, one thing to note tonight on the kit, um, it's been really warm um, because of the temp, you know, that we've got a lot of um, cloud, it's, it's about 20 odd degrees, um, and then there's a lot of moisture in the air, so the scope the, and the spotter really had to work hard tonight. And on the on the mergers, I don't normally use anything but normal. Um, I found that we went to ultra and we had it on black, uh, and it really did uh, work to treat. Um, and then obviously when, they, when it got cooler, it was a bit easier. 
but the um, the mergers tonight really did well, um, and the fact that you know my son could pick out three foxes really quick and really easy um, just test me to that because it, it literally was claggy and it was really warm. Um, but no, really, really good, really successful night. That's four in the bag. Uh, happy farmer, uh, and it was a quick fire night. But we're in the truck because the weather closed in again, so hence I'm sat here um, giving you my best side and uh, and ready. So. Um, if you like the uh, like to keep up to date, um, like, share, subscribe, and hit the notifications button. Um, if you want to hear more news about and reviews uh, from the Scott Country team, this is Danny from Scott Country International. Out. Well, that concludes another exciting episode of the Night Vision Show. Tune in next week to see Thomas back down on the wild boar using the Fermian Duo DXP50 and the Zeiss DTI640. Now, if you want to see any of this equipment that's been used throughout the videos, look in the description, and click on the kit list, which will take you to a link to the website to order yours today for immediate dispatch. Thanks for watching. Cheers. <laughs>